Welcome back to Odoo 17 Development Tutorials. In this video, let's discuss internationalization and language translation in Odoo 17. Odoo is one of the best ERP available with the advanced translation tools. The language translation in Odoo is a feature to translate words, labels, and strings in our required language. That is, with Odoo, we can easily translate text to strings in one language to another language without any extra customization. We can even use different languages for different users and also can convert website pages to different languages. So let's check how to translate the required language for our custom module in Odoo 70. So, from the general settings, inside the translation menu, we can see the languages. From here, uh, we can see all the languages that are supported by Odoo. And we need to activate the required languages by clicking the activate button uh, here. So here, uh, we have added two languages, that is English by default and the Spanish. So. Uh, I have a custom module education and I want to add the Spanish language uh, to my custom module. So let's check how to do that. For that inside this translation menu, uh, we can see import translation and export translation. So I'm going to export the translation here. And here we need to add the language that is Spanish and then uh, here we can set the file format. I'm adding the PO file format and the module that uh, going to export or model. We can specify that here. Going to export the module and then here education and export. Here we can import the file by clicking this the file is imported, sorry, exported. Then from the downloads, we can copy this file. And let's move to PyCharm. And uh, all the translation in Odoo, that is translation files in Odoo will be under the directory i18n. So I am pasting the file to here. So the file for translating uh, the English or the current language to our required language is ready here. And uh, here we can see the message ID, MSG ID and message string. That is the message ID will be the current language and uh, the message strings here. Inside the message string, we can add the string that we want to uh, add for that particular word. So for the age, we can add here. Let's move to the English to Spanish age. I'll copy this Spanish and just we can add here. Likewise, uh, we can add all the strings. For the education, we can search here. Okay. Copy this. Add here. And then Likewise, uh, we can add everything, every strings uh, and corresponding strings that we want to translate here. Then, just move to the UA. Take the apps and upgrade our module. Education. Turn on the developer mode. Then move to my profile. Here, uh, in the language, we can change the language to Spanish. Save the record. Yeah, here our language is changed. That is, education is changed here. Also inside, yeah, here this is the email. Sorry, age. Age is changed and this is the email. Email is also changed. Likewise, uh, very easily we can add 
our required languages uh, to the for the custom module to Odo. And also uh, there is two features uh, that related to translation. Uh, one of them is the translate attribute. That is for the fields we can give an attribute that is translate equal to root. By default it will be and I will show the change in the UI. I just refresh here and create new record. Here uh, in the name field we can see a button uh, EN that is current uh, login the language is English. So here if you click the button okay and key in John. So the string for the field name is John and when you click here we can see another language Spanish. So Spanish is the another activated language or activated language uh, will be listed here. So uh, when you log in, uh, when the language is English, uh, the string should be John. And when the language is Spanish, we can add the Spanish name here. Currently, I am just giving as Donaldson uh, for uh, for watching the change. So let's change the language. Now the language is changed to Spanish. Let's move to student. I hear the name is also the string also changed to uh, the Johnson that we added here. So this is one of the feature uh, related to translation uh, and another one is underscore element that I will show. Uh, in order uh, in many situation we are using user errors, warnings uh, etc. So at that time a string uh, that is uh, arising as a pop. -up. So we need to change that string to the current long kinded language, current uh, activated language. So if you search for user error here we can see underscore is user. This underscore is used for changing the string that is used inside that element uh, for changing that element to the current language. <laughs> so here for user error warnings likewise for Wherever we are using strings, uh, that that should be also need to change according to uh, the changing of the language. So the underscore element and translate elements are and the features of the translation. So the underscore element and translate elements are and the features of the translation. This is uh, how to add language translation in Odo 17. Hope you understood the video. Thank you for watching.